Hey guys, today we're gonna learn the science behind airbags. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> airbags are a wonderful invention that has saved an estimated 50,000 lives in the last 30 years. But they can be dangerous, so please don't try this at home. Now what makes car crashes just so dangerous is the rapid deceleration that occurs as you go from moving at a pretty high speed to not moving at all in a very short period of time. If you look at Newton's first law, we see an object in motion tends to stay in motion until acted upon by another force. So in a car crash, our bodies want to stay in motion, but this motion can stop very fast if your head hits the windshield or the steering wheel. Needless to say, this is very bad, and airbags allow for your body to come to rest at a slower rate, which is a lot safer. But how do they do this? Well, first off, sensors in the car sense that rapid deceleration, about the amount that would occur if you hit a brick wall going 15 miles per hour. This causes an electrical current to be sent to the airbag. In my demonstration, I bypassed the sensor and sent a current directly to the airbag. This current then heats up a heating element that sets off a chemical reaction. The substance normally used in airbags is sodium azide. And if you see my video on rocket engines, then you know chemical reactions can produce a lot of very hot gases very quickly. In fact, just 130 grams of this substance can produce 67 liters of nitrogen, which is more than enough to fill an airbag. However, this reaction leaves behind sodium, which is very dangerous and reactive. So to get rid of the sodium metal, potassium nitrate is added to react with it to make sodium oxide, which is a lot less reactive. This sodium oxide then reacts with silicon dioxide to make a harmless substance and prevent burns, which can make a bad accident even worse. Now all this gas produced fills up an airbag that's typically made of nylon, and the pressure of this gas is enough to cause the airbag to go right through the steering wheel cover. Tiny holes in the airbag can then allow the gas to escape slowly as your head decelerates through the airbag at a much slower speed. So hopefully today you're able to learn just how important these little devices that remain hidden just inches away from us are. So thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please be like or subscribe. Thanks.